Are y'all watching playoff basketball? Wow, what a finish, what a finish. Minnesota two ball gonna have to listen. I love the coach, man. Listen, he I love the the, the, the bounce pass, the, the auto bounce play he draw up to get Anthony able to three point the tie the game. But these young boys, you can tell they're a young team. You can tell they're super young. Both of them are young, but they the tenant Memphis, not Memphis, this Dylan D'Angelo Russell, Anthony was their first time in playoff. Tyler's been number four. Tyler's been number four with uh, when they had Jimmy Butler, Jim Butler over there and Wiggins. But Memphis was just that last year, so you can see the inexperience showing out. And that was a bad, a bad, a bad, bad, bad defensive sequence. You got to make the ball go to the backcourt. You cannot let Jaren catch the ball in middle space at the free throw line, below the free throw line. Got gambles for it. Jaren got one guy to beat. He goes around and lays the ball up. One second left. Ball game. Ja, hey, listen. Ja, two clutch free throws. You can't say how much Ja did in that fourth quarter and the, the performance he did. Calling the towns. D'Angelo Russell took a bad shot. I think D'Angelo Russell took a bad shot down the street. D'Angelo Russell, that 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 that, that pull up jumper off the side of the backboard, other side of the, the right side of the backboard, started from the left side. It went the ball went to the the right side of the backboard. I thought it was a terrible shot. I thought you didn't need that shot. You could have got that. You could, all you need is one point. Could have hold the ball more, passed it back out like Marcus Smart did. Pass the ball back out. Get a get another layup. Get an open three. I'll get a I'll get foul. All you gotta do is need two points or one point to tie the game up at that point with no sex on the clock. You didn't, you that that was that was that was the wrong shot. And he was over on on the sideline, knowing that he messed up grimacing like damn damn like over there standing by himself, not with the rest of the team. Like he didn't need that. that was a bad shot. I mean that, I mean I know you played with Kobe, but that's you 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 not that guy. You can't take that shot. Call call if you ain't getting all the way to the basket, get foul or uh, floater. Don't take a step a, a eight foot step back. Jump shot with great defense over Dra people draped on. That guy was draped on you. That was great defense he played. I mean, coaching. I thought his name Brent Brown, or that's, or that's Memphis coach. I don't know the Minnesota Timberwolves coach name. I'll be honest with y'all. I don't mind. I mean, I'm the Minnesota Timberwolves coach name. He's a he's a listen. We got a great roster, talented roster. This team gonna only get better and better. But they should have been up three one in this series. They lost two twenty point leads to Memphis. One in, the third, one in the first half, one in the third quarter. Lost that game. Lost a double-digit lead tonight in the third quarter. Lose this game. That should be a 3-1 right now. They clearly is all playing Memphis. But for some reason, they don't know how to close. Carlin Tone don't know how to close. Anthony Edwards, he had a big shot tonight to tie it up. But they don't know how to close. The coaching has to get better. Has to put the position players in better. But not only the coach. I think the coach did a phenomenal draw. That was one of the best draw-up plays I did. It was a great bounce play by the point guard. To pass to empty that was in corner for the three. I think, I just think they're young, inexperienced the players, but it's no way that that play to Java Run should happen. There's no way Java Run catch that ball. I can't even say that the coach put him in a great position because the ball shouldn't have been uh, uh, passed easy like that in front of I can't say the guy gambled for the ball, and that's the reason why he got an open lane to the layup to end the game. I can't say that, but wow. I can't even say that because that's just. Coaches put you in position, you mess up. He did mess up, but I don't think two should have been on Ja. Period. Two should have been on Ja. Ja shouldn't have got that shot. Three point seven. Ja shouldn't have got that shot. If he was getting that shot, she in the backcourt. That's what I have to say about that. But I, I, I think Ja is 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 everybody's gonna be on the bandwagon. Ja, ja Moran, because Skip Bayless say he's not a a great playoff player. He's just a a regular season player. He got to still grow. He, it's still some improvement. He got to go. That shot got to get better. But he hit a big three. To give him the lead and put him on one. He had a big three after the offensive rebound. They're not grabbing rebounds. Minnesota called time. He's not grabbing rebounds. They end up getting a three. They drop Moran, go about one. Then the Rose come back down, take a bad shot from the left side, hit the back or the right side. It was just some bad sequence, bad play by Minnesota down the stretch. Just bad play by Minnesota. And Ja Moran made him pay. Ja Moran was clutch and made him pay. Hope y'all watch, like, watch all the way through, comment, share. Thank y'all for supporting.